Why do so many people believe that it should be left to run its course without treating it? I think there's a number of myths. I think, first of all, when you read about diarrhoea, you tend to read about more extreme cases and those awful bacterial causes, yes. Salmonella, Campylobacter, cholera, and usually those probably are best either to be treated with antibiotics or to be left to run its course. But generally, that sort of stress diarrhoea, actually, you do need to treat. But if you're like most people, working, running about, got things to do, then actually treating it is going to be the best way to get on with your life. Now, some people think that if you take diarrhoea tablets, it sort of somehow bungs you up and stops any bugs that you've got coming out of your system. Is that right? Well, uh, it is a very common myth that actually yeah. that I hear a lot. And I would say if you have high fevers, cramps, blood or mucus coming out, then actually go and seek medical advice first before you take anything yourself. But for that short-lived acute diarrhea, where it's just the diarrhea and maybe a bit of cramping, no, it's not right at all. And it'll absolutely help you get on with your life, stop you living in the bathroom for three days. Um, and it will relieve the symptoms, make you feel a lot more comfortable, won't it? Yeah. So no, it's fine to take medication. And how long should you wait before seeking advice? How long were you sort of suffering before you went to, um, to the pharmacist? Maybe two or three weeks. Right. Because at that time I was getting it the whole time. Oh right, yeah. Um, but now I get, I have about maybe every ten days, two weeks, um, and I, I, I can more or less tell when it's going to happen. Right. Just something will go in my stomach and say, right, yeah, I'm going to make you want to sit on the toilet in for a Jackie's long time. In Jackie's case, I mean, she knows absolutely what it is, where yes. it comes from, what's going to set it off, and that's fine. So I, I'd say she doesn't really need to seek medical advice yes. now. But she's managing it really well, aren't you? Which, yes. is, which is good. Yes. I think if you ha you have really your first bout of diarrhoea or a bout of diarrhoea after a long period of, of normal bowel movements, anything lasting longer than about three days, I would always say, look, just seek advice. Check there's nothing else going on that can be dealt with as well. Okay. Well, that's just about all we've got time for. But before we go, top tip from, from both of you. Um, Jackie, what would you say? Carry some pills along with you and always have a bottle of water with you, which I always do. And uh, I also know if I'm going out, I try and know where the toilets are. Good tip. <laughs> always look for the loo. Gosh, you've, you've done all the good ones. You haven't <laughs> left me any. I mean, I was going to say, actually, just be prepared. You know, yes. just always have something at least at home. And don't underestimate how quickly diarrhoea can dehydrate you. Right. Particularly if you're in a warm country or it's summer, say, in this country. Yes. It's simple. Just make sure you're getting plenty of fluids on yes. board. Jackie, thanks so much for coming in and Thank Christian you. for all your Thank advice. You. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.